आदित्य तुम्हें सॉरी रेकॉर्डिंग स्टार्ट के लिए चल मैं एक्सप्लेन यूज केस स्टडी एक्सप्लेन कर वॉट वी आर ट्राइंग टू डू आता एक यूजर है ना हम जीव आई एक्सेस नहीं है ओके तर तेला अपन ही एमेजॉन एमेजॉन डॉट कॉम ची एक यू आर एल पास करते ती अपने वैलिडेट कराई है कि ती यू आर एल वैलिड यू आर एल है का नहीं कुनाल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन द सेम द वे आई एक्सप्लेन आई एम एक्सप्लेन एज एन आई एम एन डेप्स इंजीनियर एंड आई एम ट्राइंग टू इंस्टॉल द एप्लीकेशन नाउ इंस्टॉल इन द सेम मैनर explain the in the same manner that you are a develop, devops engineer you wanted to install application and wanted to test the amazon.com website so what will be the steps like how you are going to do कुणाल ओके सिंस बिजी वेरी सिंपल आई एम एन डेवप्स इंजिनियर आई गॉट वन एप्लिकेशन डिप्लॉयमेंट दिस अमेजॉन डॉट कॉम इज नथिंग बट अ टेस्ट केस और यूज केस वी कैन से आई हैव वीडीआई एक्सेस व्हिच इज वेरी प्राइवेट and from the vdi access i have only server gui access uh, server cli access which we call it as a command line interface access okay now i need to prepare a script so let's say use case is very simple i have deployed application but i am not sure it is is it deployed or not i wanted to test and uh, for the testing we have very basic basic things is like if application url is up we can consider at least our test case or our deployment is completed successfully because at least application is up and running and accessible over the internet to the public okay now if it is up and running and accessible over the internet it means it is up now if anything goes wrong after that like let's say amazon.com has launched and if someone user is trying to log in and he is not able to log in and all so that part comes under the functional validation that application owner will take care our responsibility is to verify that amazon.com is up or not that's it okay and that's what we are trying to do okay now clear everyone anyone has any question no no atish good morning गुड मॉर्निंग सर व्हाट इज दिस व्हाट इज दिस बिन बैश सर यस टुडे यू टोल्ड अस दैट इट इज फॉर अ यूजर लॉगिन नो सीरियसली is this for user login recording bhai liga sir it is shell uh, like binbash is a shell used uh, stored in user binbash is a shell stored in a user how not getting not correct answer रेकॉर्डिंग बगितली का याच्या अगोदरची बघितली का
आतिश रेकॉर्डिंग्स बगित काय प्रॉब्लेम आहे तुला वेळ नाही भेटत का स्टडीला वर्कलोड खूप जास्त वाटते असेल बरोबर ना आम वॉट इज दिस बिन बॅश आमोग यू आर देर those who are not responding i will not respond to your message as well barobar na aditya silent don't be so silent mm, correct चलो यूज केस क्लियर आहे नाव लेट्स गो एड अँड राईट अ स्क्रिप्ट फॉर दॅट ठीक आहे वी आर डुईंग द सेम थिंग इन अवर अवर एन्व्हायरमेंट ॲज वेल बिकॉज ऑल द टाईम वी कॅनॉट गो अँड टेस्ट व्हेरीफाय यू आर एल इज वर्किंग ऑर नॉट इट इज बेटर टू ॲड एक्झिक्युशन स्क्रिप्ट ॲट द एंड अँड इट विल टेल अस दॅट युअर यू आर एल इज अपर अप ऑर नॉट व्हेरी सिम्पल ओके नाव again we need to validate our argument how many arguments we have given okay and it should be one right aditya at one time we can test only one argument oh dollar value sorry dollar value ni capture karnar apan the exactly if dollar hash dollar hash represents what dollar hash represents what dollar hash represents what gayatri priyanka ji dilil ha ji user ni input keleli value ahe ti nahi that dollar one will represent dollar one will represent the parameter or the argument provided by user we are talking about dollar hash hmm काय आहे गायत्री आय थिंक इट रिप्रेझेंट दॅल्यू वी आर एंटरिंग ऑर द आर्ग्युमेंट ऍक्च्युली नो इट इज नॉट रिप्रेझेंटिंग व्हॅल्यू ऑर आर्ग्युमेंट नॉट एट ऑल 
it represents the directory? No, not at all. Hyphen D stands for checking sorry, the directory. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Dollar hash. We have taken this example earlier as well, right? Borobar na dollar hash wapar le na pun. Hmm. Kal kal use ke le le. Dollar one wapar le. Dollar hash wapar le. Very simple. You're not looking at any recording. You're not looking at any document. You're not practicing well. Very simple. Dollar hash. Number of argument provided to script. And it should be only one. That's why we have given a condition call. If dollar hash, dollar hash represents number of arguments. How many arguments we required? Minimum one. Or at least one. Or it should be only one. That's why if it is not equal to one, not equal to one, one means either zero or two, three, four, five, six. It will show error that usage of the script is this one. Why to bye. Now what we will do? We will use function here. Function my then the function purpose specific task. Huh? Function performs specific task. Function performs specific task. Okay. Whatever instruction we have provided and we have declared in the function, uh, that will execute if we call that per particular function. Okay. Let me go on paint one more time. Function. There are in, inside function, there are two terms like definition and call function. Okay. Basically, in a script, you can write a function at anywhere and you can call that function whenever you require. It is very simple as like uh, try to write a generic code and uh, that generic code you can pass argument that will get verified or that will get uh, processed through the function or very simple we can say set of instructions can be reusable function code can be reusable by calling that function okay so there are two terms we have to first define function and then we will call that function okay so he, here also similarly we are doing same thing check website is my function I need website URL. That will be in a dollar one. Now dollar dollar one represents what, Aditya? Dollar one represents what? Key value. Um... First argument. Huh? First argument of your script. At the time of execution, whatever argument you are giving to your script, that will be the first argument of your particular script. Now we need to extract a response code. A response code from the curl command curl command is the command which will help you to get the HTTP code or we can say HTTPS code. Okay. So this is a very, very simple and uh, genuine command. 
curl is we all know if you wanted to execute uh, like if you wanted to test url we, we we can execute curl command right aditya you might have gone through with that scenarios mm. no no with the command bagitli curl iphone something other but हां ते सेवा के गाइस नाही म्हणजे पिंग वगैरे करायसाठी नाही का आपण ते हे करतो हां सेम 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 यस 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 ते डॉलर 0 काय घेतलंय ते युसेज ऑफ दिस स्क्रिप्ट इज डॉलर 0 डॉलर 0 कुठे दिसतोय तुला ते इको हम्म uses of the script so basically the argument pass nahi zali hmm. the it, it will show that you have to execute this script with a script name and the url dollar zero represents your script name and website url says like you need to pass something with this one like this okay, okay. yes i need a value of curl command yes will be the silent uh, silent mode it prevents curl from showing progress or error message okay and l for follows redirects if the url has any okay so for the redirection and basically you don't need to like you just can search on google and you will get a command like how to generate a response code i'm i'm i also taken this from the google so no logic behind it where so these things are available but yeah how to do it that we need we must know percent w and Here we will use HTTP code. So whatever HTTP code we have that we will use here. Curl hyphen SL hyphen W and space HTTP code double N website URL hyphen O dev and L. Okay. What all things are doing? Let me again recap. Curl, we are using command line tool for transferring data with URLs. Hyphen S for silent mode. It prevents curl from showing progress or error message. Hyphen L follows redirects if the URL has anything. Hyphen W and HTTP code and double slash N formats the output to display HTTP status code. Okay, so this W and HTTP code will just formats and will keep only status code, HTTP status code. Website URL, we are passing the same thing. And uh, Devonal hyphen o devonal redirects the output to the devonal effectively discarding it. Okay, and uh, this is the same command if you use uh, with any any of the any of the code like any of the URL, you will get the same thing. Okay, we'll tie we'll test this later on as well. Okay. Just an request for song. Kamala. Small SL Munjakai. Silent mode prevents skull from showing progress or error message. Okay. Yes. When the error is still, your progress is still, then it will show. Okay. 
it will wait for uh, hyphen l4 redirects the url has any and it was silent karun to progress and error as to show nahi karnar either it will be not reachable or it will be reachable the do not yes and l manje redirect to any manje jkai website url tila tichu now display karel ka to redirect karel the url la Okay. Any W? W is W O. W is simply to format your output hmm. uh, in a HTTP code. HTTP is also status code, right? Hmm. So format it uh, store it. So in the percentage field, it will be 4438, Yes, yes. And in new line, la? ती आपली जी कमांड लाइन ने केलेली ती डॉलर ने प्रिंट कर लेते यस यस एचटीटीपी कोड म्हणजे युअर आइदर मे बी अ 200 200 सेज ओके एक्सेप्ट 200 सेज वेबसाइट वाज अनरीचेबल अच्छा जस तो रिस्पोंस कोड का मला वाटलं ते पोर्ट पोर्ट नंबर पोर्ट नाही पोर्ट घेऊन काय करायचं आपल्याला रिस्पोंस कोड पाहिजे ना वेबसाइट आपण कसं चेक करतो हं हं Dave Aninal. Dave Aninal is very simple. It will just redirect the output to the page contained. Ani to the baki sa jeka output asthana. It is not something only status code we will get. We will get a lot of things. So, this is the baki discard karun. Fakta ni fakta. HTTP is a status code stable. That's it. Okay. Yes. Okay, we need if condition. If dollar response code equal equal two hundred. Now you will you got the very plain or straight away situation, straight away command. Okay. Echo website. Website is reachable. Okay. Now this will work. This will work or not? Hmm. Yes. Or are we missing something? Okay. If a statement are you already knows like how to execute and all. Are we missing something? Yes, we are missing something. But what? A study perspective ka syntax perspective. Huh? Ke study mazum kai missing ahe ka so check karto hai apan ki syntax chai baptit. You think? Kya lagta hai? Kya missing hai? No, you recall, right? Eh? 
नहीं रिकॉल हो रहा है ये सर नो नहीं हो रहा है तो दस फाइन वी विल नॉट वेस्ट मच टाइम नहीं नहीं हो रहा है वेबसाइट का फंक्शन डिफाइन किया ना वेबसाइट कॉल मैंने पहले ही बोला ना देर आर टू पार्ट वन इज डेफिनेशन एंड एंड फंक्शन कॉल तो फंक्शन को कॉल कैसे जाएगा अच्छा फंक्शन डिफाइन कर रहा है कॉल नहीं दिला बरबर कभी संग कोडिंग नहीं करता तो विसर मी जस हार्डकोड प्रोग्रामर है वाह फंक्शन डिफाइन बट वी फर्गेट टू कॉल सो हियर आई एम कॉलिंग फंक्शन एंड पासिंग डॉलर वन डॉलर वन रिप्रेजेंट्स डॉलर वन रिप्रेजेंट्स इनपुट वैल्यू विच इनपुट वैल्यू सी एल आई इनपुट वैल्यू सो यू मीन टू सी आर्ग्यूमेंट आर्ग्यूमेंट यू आर एल आर्ग्यूमेंट यस डोंट से इनपुट वेरिएबल और इनपुट वैल्यू और से ऑल दीज आर लाइक कंफ्यूजिंग अदर्स वेरी सिंपल एंड वेरी वेरी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड आर्ग्यूमेंट वी आर पासिंग टू द स्क्रिप्ट to the point obviously it will be a only first character or single characters upon validate karto hai na hmm i'm trying to execute it is saying uses of the script not found reachable perfect anything not to show dot in reachable ha huh? why not mante ha ah, this me pen shock dala hello let me check this one नॉर्मल गुगल करूं ओके ओके जस्ट अ मिनट ऐसे कैसे हो गया लेट मी वेरीफाई कोड कोड में कुछ तो गलती हो गया चेक वेबसाइट फंक्शन इज डिफाइंड the spelling of website you where mm, web by uh, above the response code check cha khali check website right, function ha huh. function cha just khali varti to the dollar one the dollar one apan ha what chila ha right hmm पलटी मार के उल्टा कर Mm okay anything you wanted to test uh -huh. T baki no 
हाँ तो अपने को अच्छा मला वाटलं की प्रॉपर नेम टाक ठीक आहे वर्किंग ॲज एक्सपेक्टेड इट इज वर्किंग नो डाऊट ॲट ऑल राईट एनी वन ॲज एन इक्वेशन वाय वी हॅव राईट दिस काइंड ऑफ स्क्रिप्ट वाय वी आर युजिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ स्क्रिप्ट एनी वन ॲज एन इक्वेशन Uh, the response code why we are only using like 200 200 is a status code of your website it says okay means url is up and running okay like yeah. the 404 those error codes yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. so now you can uh, you can uh, add 404 504 bad gateway as well so Five. if you are if you are url is getting this kind of error now again this is what we have applied for the success right hmm. if we want 200 status code or something like that now you just think about the modification the moment you said if you got a 400 status code like 400 says your application is down or not reachable right hmm. then might be you can if status code or response code is 400 you can restart any service oh that might solve your problem if 504 gateway bad gateway error occurs you can start redeploying of your application or maybe you can just restart your system so based on these codes you can modify your code to perform any actions trigger alert email like that correct trigger alert yeah mm -hmm. lot of things even you can if your application is very much critical just create a cron tap for this one apply cron tap to verify application url at every one minute if response code is 200 then keep quiet if response code is except 200 generate alert inform all the member that website is down Creative. monitoring you can implement yes you just need a one way to write a script the rest of the modification you can do it easily because you know the logic you get to know the how to write a script how to do the design and develop a script how to get the status code and this forget about this one huh? if someone is not understanding this one what is curl and what don't worry about it because google has everything but google will not give you this kind of things this logic you need to build up this logic you need to build up based on your situation based on your case studies this you will get it if you uh, if you execute like if you just search for uh, how to get a response code and store in one variable you will get it now the rest of the things are much needed this validations are much needed so these things you can prepare okay yes okay chaitanya pa mala ha sa question hota je highlight kelele na he actually te manje itla ghetak ase ki pahile code getoy ani nantar url cha naav he manje it's a working back back end la working kaso hote mala nahi samajla tu question nahi samajla ata he kal apan tela ping martoy barobar आणि तिथून आपण त्याचा स्टेटस कोड घेतोय पहिले त्याच्यानंतर डबल स्लॅश डबल एन न्यू लाईन ला त्याची यु आर एल घेतो जी काय आहे ती बरोबर तर हे बॅकग्राऊंड ला कसं वर्क होत हेच म्हणजे बेसिकली कल इज द कमांड विच विल हेल्प यू टू हिट एनी यु आर एल ठीक आहेफिकेशन विल हेल्प यू टू गेट द स्टेटस कोड ऑफ युअर सिस्टम व्हेरी सिम्पल ओके as for the silent l for redirection w and http code to get the http code so whatever the http code when you are executing uh, so let me show you 
म्हणजे या कल कमांच्या लॉग मध्ये जिथे काही त्याला स्टेटस कोड भेटतोय तो उचलतोय तो फर्स्ट वाला ऑकरन्स एक्झॅक्टली मॉडिफिकेशन करतो बाकी काहीच नाही ओके म्हणजे तो सायलेंट मोड मध्ये म्हणून त्याला ते आपल्याला दिसत नाही ते की पहिला कोड कटला फाइंड आउट होतोय त्याला येस म्हणजे सपोज तू जर आय नीड ओनली टू हंड्रेड वॉट इट इज सिंग ते सायलेंट वाला कारण ना म्हणजे कसं दिसतं ते बघू नका ते लॉक स्ट्रेस कसे जात आहे त्याचे आपल्याला ही प्रोग्रेस पाहिजे का नाही त्याच्यासाठी तो काढला दिस इज जस्ट अ मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ युअर डेटा असं एन काढल्यानंतर काहीच फरक नाही पडत त्याच्या जास्त आता एल रिमूव्ह केला ना आणि एल रिमूव्ह केला फरक काहीच नाही पडला जास्त काय रिडायरेक्शन करतोय ते इट इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन रे हायफन एस एल दोघं एकत्र वापरले ना आपण तर हे प्रोग्रेस न दाखवण्यासाठी डायरेक्ट रिडायरेक्ट करण्यासाठी त्यामुळे तो टू हंड्रेड त्यामुळे तो एस एल वापरतोय एस एल नॉट अ सेपरेट अ सिंगल ते दोघं एकत्र काम करतात ते मोस्टली हे मॉनिटरिंग टीमच्या युजफुल आहे जास्त करून नॉट लाईक दॅट दे डोंट हॅव ऍडमिनिस्ट्रेशन परमिशन ना त्यांना लिनक्स माहित नाहीये ना दे आर लिमिटेड टू मॉनिटर वी आर द पर्सन हु हॅज टू डिफाईन डेव्हलप डिझाईन इम्प्लिमेंट द स्क्रिप्ट अँड देन हँडेड ओव्हर टू द मॉनिटरिंग टीम Hmm. saying you will get a error if you get a error update us very simple clear eh hmm. any question <laughs> any question no perfect so practice well for your uh, shell script and uh, now we will move uh, towards a very important part or we can say the next tool i will just cover theory part today then we will cover the uh, actual part from the tomorrow it is just a theoretical part fine right? hmm. okay. now you are an devops engineer and working on a very important product and you have a very genuine request that installation maybe installation or configuration need to complete okay let's say you have something need to be configured maybe your application maybe your system related stuff 
basically we will talk about the configuration of your system and you need to prepare one environment and this is something configuration you need to do okay how you will perform configuration any idea how you used to do any type of configuration, any type of installation. Let's say, consider the uh, very genuine. You wanted to install APT, install Nginx on Linux server. How you will perform this one? Gayatri, Priyanka, Kunal, Atish. How you will do this one? This is one package I wanted to install on a server. We only use the command in Linux for installation. Okay. But can you use directly command? No. For that, you need to log into the system. Am I right? Ah, yes. First, you need access. Very basic thing and very important thing. And uh, then you will perform the operation. Am I right? So you will execute APT install Nginx. Right. Yes. Then after that, uh, uh, after APT installation, you will execute a command call systemctl status Nginx. And if you get a status like it is up and running, you say, okay, my installation is completed. Am I right or wrong? Yes. Perfect. I ask you to do this on 10,000 server. Will it be possible? No. Why? No, I mean, uh, the way we are doing right now, that might not be possible. Same way. It is possible, but uh, it will take time. Mm. Hmm. So, Aditya will go ahead and log into the 10,000 server and uh, install the application. Now, um, at that monitoring dashboard, I realize that one server is missing and I will ask Aditya to verify which server is missing. How you will verify? By again logging to the 10,000 server. Am I right or wrong? Am I right or wrong? Right. So now your way is whatever you are doing is professionally correct, efficient, or is this the way our industry expecting? And how much time you will take? Might be two, three days, four, five days? <laughs> Maybe month. One, one month. Maybe one month. Installing one application and executing two commands, you are taking one month. Company will say, Tata, bye bye. Bye, is a Ruthney itna. Itna hardworking employee, Nisha Yamko. Fine. So, this was the purely a use case. Now, we wanted to or organization wanted to a smoother deployment and no manual efforts. And for that, very important uh, tool comes into the picture. We call it as an Ansible. Ansible is a configuration management tool plus infrastructure as a code tool as well. One tool can be used with a two use cases. Either you can use as an infrastructure as a code or you can use a configuration as a tool. But mostly everyone 
Ansible is using as a configuration management. I have seen very few people who are using in Ansible as a configuration, as a infrastructure. But Ansible as a configuration is a common use case. Okay. Infrastructure as a code, Terraform is well. But for the configuration management, we must go with the Ansible only. Now, why it is so popular is more important. Ansible has a pushback architecture. Means it can code can be pushed from here. Okay. Code can be pushed from here, like from the Ansible machine. Okay. Ansible is a agentless. Agentless architecture means what? You don't need anything to be installed on a node. Node means all these are rest of the computers where we are going to perform the operations. I don't need anything to be installed. Minimum configuration is required. Minimum configuration is required. And we call it as an just an Ansible installation. Here, we just need Ansible to be installed. That's it. Ansible to be installed. That's it. That's what basic requirement. Huh? You are you will be able to up and running and executing a script on a, many of the servers. Very simple. It can be integrated with CI CD pipeline as well. It can be deployed using GitLab as well. Ansible can work with a, a CI CD manner as well. Write a code one time, deploy it many times, no worry at all. We cannot do the manual efforts all the time. That's why we are preparing all these things. Similarly, we are preparing an our, our organization as well. Okay. So, very important. Ansible is a configuration management plus infrastructure as a code tool. But majorly it used for the configuration management. Minimum installation is required. Ansible has a pushback architecture. No agent required on node servers to perform operation. Clear? Anyone has any question? This, that's it. This is the use case and this is what we have. Okay. Any question? Nice.